I had an allergic reaction during this movie. And, um... I was gonna avoid giving <laughs> details, but I guess well, no, you, you can if you want. It, hi, everybody. Hey, different lighting this time. Uh, we just saw... Fast and Furious presents Colin Hobbs and Shaw. And by just saw, I mean, like, two nights ago. I will say that my opinion hasn't changed at all since that night, so... Nope. Here's the thing. I don't like to be the kind of person that goes into a movie and predetermines what they think about it. Which I, is ironic, because I have a whole mm. show where I say what I think about a movie before <laughs> I go in. That being said, I don't like most of the Fast and Furious movies. So obviously, when I'm looking at the trailers for Hobbs and Shaw, and it looks ten times more ridiculous than any of that, it doesn't really grab me. I missed about an hour of the movie, probably. However, I got the tone, I got the point. And you'd be hard-pressed to convince me otherwise. This is definitely, and this is fucking saying something, this is for sure the silliest of any of the Fast and Furious movies. I was gonna say, I, I actually, this is the only Fast and Furious movie I've ever seen. Uh, and I will give the movie credit that I think it is unimportant to have seen the others to get it. Like, I think the only thing is that there is an established dynamic between Hobbs and Shaw. Right. It felt like it gave me enough that I was good, I didn't need to see anything else to like get what was going on the big thing that i don't like about the other fast and furious movies you know other than that i'm not really into cars which they took the fucking cars out of fast and furious that's fucking incredible now it really is just about cartoon character muscle men punching each other which i'm totally down with the thing that i don't really like about the other movies is that they they're not shy about how stupid they are but nobody acts like it's stupid in the movies. Like, Vin Diesel is very serious in all those fucking movies. Mm -hmm. And the more ridiculous it gets, the harder it is for me to swallow that or feel like there are stakes. And the really nice thing about this movie is, right off the bat, this is a com not just stupid, it is a comedy. It is telling you jokes the whole time, and it is totally embracing how silly things get. And I can't help but wonder if that's because the crew has changed up a little bit or what. Mm -hmm but I definitely enjoyed that lighter tone for this movie. And as a result, I actually think this is probably the Fast and the Furious movie that I liked the most out of the ones that I've seen. I think if you asked me to go see this with somebody, I would have no problem going. I just probably wouldn't seek the movie out on my own. I mean, you could take that statement and put it to me because I was never gonna see this movie until you were like, do you wanna go see it? Very, like, very literally. I was like, I'm not gonna see Hobbit Show, I don't need to. It looks stupid, I'm not gonna like it. But I'll also say, it's not going to be, like, the next fucking Citizen Kane. Right. And as you're saying, like, it, it knows that, and it never tries to be, and it's very aware of what it is. And if you do go as kind of a, this is action movie, I'm here for an action movie type thing, it's really not that bad, and I, and I did enjoy it. Not only is it not that bad, it is a pretty solid buddy comedy. Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen, again, I don't know what the last hour of this movie is because I had an allergic reaction and I walked out, but... Right. Just the fact that I was actually a little disappointed that I wasn't going to make it through the movie speaks, because any of the other ones, I could get up and leave. I don't give a shit. I, there are things in the story that I feel like I could poke at, but, I don't know, you're not really there for that. No, of know? course not. And if you're not behind that for the ninth Fast and Furious movie, what are you doing? Yeah. The trailer for this movie features Jason Statham hanging off a helicopter, holding a car by the spoiler. As if, yep, Jason Statham is lifting this car. If you are you sure you don't have those reversed? The Rock is an <laughs> enormous fucking person. I, I, if you reverse them, then yes, I do know what you're talking about. You know, and again, I'm not the type of person that says, oh, turn your brain off and go to this movie. Mm -hmm. You can be a dumb movie and still make something that's solid and i think that they've done that here the rock called vin diesel a candy ass and now we have a whole second fast and furious spin-off franchise and that is a crazy fucking world that we live in <laughs> one of my marks of a good movie is if i'm not i feel like if i'm invested enough i shouldn't be thinking about the mechanics of a story while i'm watching it i did have a moment in this when kevin hart shows up that was ridiculous i did have like a moment in here where i'm where instead of watching the movie i'm like oh okay this setup, how is this going to pay off? And I'm trying to think of how they're going to pay this off. And instead of watching the movie, I'm thinking about the mechanics of storytelling. One of the things that it's not shy about is the celebrity cameos. 
are shameless celebrity cameos. These characters are barely even built into the story. So much so that a famous person will show up in this movie and it will take you directly out of it. And you'll go, oh, famous guy that is friends with these famous guys that just wanted to be in the movie, I guess. The Kevin Hart fucking cameo is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Because the concept of it is that... That was the moment where I'm like, okay, what's this setup going to pay off for Kevin Hart? And I don't think you saw that. There was a payoff. Well, the, all that I got from it was that Kevin Hart is on this plane now, and um, he's yeah, telling Marshall. he's telling The Rock that he's tall, too. And I'd prefer it to just be that, yeah, Kevin Hart wants The Rock and Jason Statham to think he's also tall. <laughs> At one point in this movie, Jason Statham takes a pin from a grenade and puts it back in the grenade to stop it from exploding. Yeah, that's not how it works. That would be my one complaint, is like, there are storytelling things here that I think are not perfect, but it's fine because that's not what it's about. But that is an action thing, and something like that is ridiculous and inexcusable. But I'll note, I will note that he puts the pin back in the grenade, and then the scene cuts. So maybe it still blew up, and the rest of the movie is his version of hell. See, now this is how I know that you've never seen another Fast and Furious movie. My one... My, my one actual complaint about the story is that I think that Hobbs, the Rock, has no reason to actually be in this story. Other than that he sells the movie. Yeah, other than that he's enormous both physically and metaphorically in his stardom, he's enormous. Because, because you watch this movie and it's immediately established, okay, there's a virus, and the virus is in Shaw's sister. So Idris Elba has a history with Shaw. So like there is his enormous investment in what's going on. Also, Hobbs is there. He is part of this plot. This movie is intent on telling you, you know this is stupid. Right. Roll with me. And if the other movies have been doing that, I would like this franchise a lot more because I actually had a really fun time with this. And um, I think that's my biggest takeaway from Hobbs and Shaw. I don't think that I'm particularly interested in seeing another Fast and Furious, but I would see a Hobbs and Shaw too. I don't know if I would see another, uh, I would see a Hobbs and Shaw too, but I'll agree with you that I'm still not interested in another Fast and Furious. Yeah, I'm going to give this a very enthusiastic C+. It's not mm. a C because it's a bad movie. It is a C because it is still not quite what I want, but it is a fond C. If this came on TV, I would probably watch the whole thing. Hmm. I was also going to give it a C plus. I was thinking maybe a B minus, but I think I'm going to give it a C plus too. Honestly, pleasantly surprised. Um, and that's great. You know, there's absolutely sequel bait too. Oh, well, of, of, of course there is. They're going to make like nine of these. Man, everybody.